All right, now let's talk about this future of AI with Bard and ChatGPT, and this is a pretty stunning future, which I can just say uh, because the future of AI uh, with Bard and ChatGPT looks pretty promising, and both are very powerful language models, which can, you know, generate text, translate languages, write various types of creative material, and uh, provide useful answers to inquiries. So this is it, like uh, it's like your assistant in play, and uh, this is very powerful assistant which knows uh, almost everything. So, having said that, Microsoft and Google have promised that web search is going to change with the help of AI like Bard and ChatGPT, right? So, this is where it's going. And Microsoft calls it its effort the, uh, the new Bing, right? So, when I said the new Bing, is like uh, the Bing is now changed. And if you, uh, Bing is changed with this, the adoption of ChatGPT itself. And it's building related capabilities into its Edge browser. And if you are on Edge, which you can see currently I'm on edge, right? So if you just simply go to the bing.com, right? And this is suddenly changing and um, it has changed as well, right? So if you see this chat thing, right? So you will get to see more of Bing capabilities in the coming section, but I'm just giving you all of these examples, right? So you see, these are the conversation style, like a choose a conversation style, you know, creative, uh, balanced, or more like and uh, you have been given some of uh, 30 credits for any of the questions to ask um, for a certain topic and you can obviously create a new topic out of that if you have exhausted for that particular topics and so this is uh, some of that uh, thing and if you see this on my recent activities like what i have been asking like here right so and uh, you can ask anything let's say uh, since you are on bing itself right and uh, this is getting questioned by that chat gpt itself right and uh, so this is the blend of latest data plus chat gpt right so this is the takeaway for you like so uh, this is where i was saying that it becomes pretty lethal because chat gpt also has this the latest blend of data you just need to know those tools and bing is one of that pretty famous and that's why this search engine has a new dimension now where uh you know chat gpt got associated with that right so you just need to know these things like because let's say uh if you ask any questions to bing right so about any of this thing right so what does it think like uh, let's say what do you think um, about the latest trends of uh, ev adoption and uh, do you think india can be and and do you think india can adopt you know even 30 percent by 2030 2030 and also gives worldwide figure right so now this is uh, the question i'm just uh, quoting uh, from an example perspective so this is the thing like you can think like you know it's uh, started searching uh, latest trend so this is how it's uh, getting that latest data and then in the background what is happening is the chat jpd is in action and this is what is getting listed right so and uh, if you ask this same question to the chat jpd what will happen it will uh, put together a disclaimer of 2021 uh, and um, it can come up with that the old data uh, till 2021 but uh, here what has happened like uh, it has given you a pretty concise uh, data and the list which has come up and uh, this is where it signs basically so what i was talking about is that uh, you know uh, you know microsoft and uh, google have already promised that web search is going to change uh, with the help of ai like bard and chat gpt and that is where it calls its efforts the new bing microsoft calls its effort as the new bing itself which you are seeing at the moment right and building related cap capabilities into its edge browser so this is i am currently on edge and um, uh, all the examples is so you can use any of the browsers uh, there is no such problem but you need to uh, uh, you know use that uh, uh, Bing capabilities at its uh, you know best right so I suggest to use the edge browser which is based on which is built on top of Chromium engine so the same engine on which Chrome is built so whatever uh, uh, stuff whatever extensions you will be able to use in Chrome same can be used in edge as well and this is pretty nice also so now Google's project Bard is while not yet ready to sing has a launch uh, you know planned for the coming weeks as well right so 
I mean, uh, you can just think like the competition between these two models could potentially redraw the landscape of modern tech, right? So with a shift towards AI assisted search is there's a potential to, you know, <clears throat> dethrone Google uh, and drive it from one of the most profitable territories in modern businesses. So this is what has happened, right? If you have followed this internet news uh, since a couple of years, ever since ChatGPT has launched, Google search has, you know, uh, taken a significant hit. And that is where Google is also pretty, uh, you know, trying pretty hard to, you know, come up with, uh, with its own model and back its search engine, right? So because this is the primary business of Google, right? For Google search engine. And even more, there is a chance to be the first to build uh, what comes after the web, right? So uh, that is what people are, you know, uh, you know, racing towards that. And uh, however, each new era of this tech comes with new problems. The problem that underpins these systems, you know, large language models, also known as LLMs, which you might be hearing so far and is known to generate misinformation as well, right? So. And this is where these guys like ChatGPT and Bard is training their model in a way uh, on the vast uh, data set and the parameters so that it can be ensured that whatever the data which you are getting is uh, to the, you know, um, you know, to the point and there is no, um, there is no inaccuracy in that, right, which has been provided. So these models simply make stuff up. And which is why uh, some argues that they are fundamentally uh, inappropriate uh, for the task at hand. But uh, this is really uh, which is uh, getting changed. And so in conclusion, uh, while both Bard and Chad Jebedi have shown great potential in transforming how we interact with the information on the web, uh, they also pose new challenges uh, that they need to be addressed. And the future of, uh, from that perspective, the future of Bard and Chad Jebedi will depend on how these challenges are tackled basically and this is where uh, it's become pretty important and we have already uh, seen that the concerns the ethical concerns the security concerns and these uh, companies are handling this at its best uh, and um, probably in future you will see um, more variations of chat jpd and bard uh, from different players as well and which is uh, right now which is also happening let's say facebook is also in there uh with um, and then other uh, players like uh, are also there with their own models itself and that is going to happen and that is the place where you know um, you know we will be uh, you know having the most at uh, sitting at the most advantageous position so that is that being said um yeah so let's switch to the next section and see what is there <clears throat> 